All right, you've just purchased the AT150 Wobble with the long range Wobble control system. This is an incredible setup with so many cool features. We're gonna demonstrate it real quickly here for you. This is your long range Wobble receiver. You will need this to operate the trap with the long range control system. And we'll show you how to plug it in and operate it. You will also get this pull cord, this manual pull cord that has just a single button on there to fire the trap. So you always have this as well. To plug this in, it's a six pin connector. So you actually have to see where you are connecting the pins. There's a little slot here to make sure that lines up. Once it does, then you just twist the two together and you're all set. This draws its power from the trap, so you don't have to worry about a separate battery cable or any kind of power for this. Once you have it hooked up and you're ready to operate the machine, you will go to this switch here. This is the operating switch for the trap. And you will pop the machine by moving the toggle switch to the up position. And if you turn your long range transmitter on, you basically have yourself a wireless transmitter here. And so the first thing you can do is just, you can fire the trap. And the trap will reset itself, ready to go again, and fire the trap. So that's the most basic feature is just being able to fire it. To control the movements, you go to the control box here and you'll move these switches to the up position. The right is for the wobble, which is your up and down. The left is for the oscillator, which is your right to left. On your controller, you've got several different features. Um, we'll start with the middle, the nudge feature. That just nudges the trap a little bit, either right to left or up and down. So if we wanna move it right to left, you just bump this button and I can reposition it. So if I just want to practice a hard left shot, I can move it all the way there and then fire off clay. You'll see that when you fire it, the trap moves and it repositions itself. It has an electrical interrupter built into the system. So every time it fires, it moves to a different position and then stops. It times out, making it less predictable and also conserving battery life. If you want it to stay in one position, you can move these, the switch down. You're still able to nudge it, left to right, up, down, but this next time, after I pick a spot and fire it, it's gonna stay in that position every time. So now I wanna nudge it and throw a real high arcing shot, but I want it to stay there, fire it, and it'll just stay there as long as I wanna shoot that particular target. The next feature is the on-off. If you want to bypass the interrupter to where it does not time out, you can just hit one of these buttons, up, down, or left, right. And you can see the trap is constantly moving and it does not stop. So I can fire it and it just keeps on moving. You can see the range of this machine and the cycle time you can get targets all over the sky. So in that feature, it doesn't time out, it just keeps moving. And then all you gotta do is just gonna turn those off, press up and down, press right to left, and then, then you can stop it. From here, you could nudge it again. If you wanna practice a certain angle, you wanna try to get a line drive here. Another feature of this is the flush. There's a single person or a two person flush. A single person flush, if you're by yourself, it throws 25 targets at a four second interval. Hit that, there's a little bit of a delay, and I think it's about a six second delay, but once it starts, it will fire a target, and then four seconds later, it will fire another target. So if you're by yourself, it's a great way to practice your speed. It just keeps firing them off there. And if you need a break or want to reload, you just hit the on button, and that will cancel out that flush, and then it'll, be, it'll stop waiting for you to give it the next command. So we can turn it back to, turn these on, and we can go back to our interrupted mode just to kind of refresh that. So we'll fire it. Did 
And this time you see it, it times out because these switches are up and we're back on our electrical timer that's built into our control box. Uh, now we'd like to show you how to safely decock the trap when you're finished for the day. On our control box, you have the three position operating switch. Earlier, we just moved it up to cock it. The middle or neutral position is a kill switch, so it takes power away from it. So now if I tried to say fire the machine, it won't work. I'm in the middle or the neutral. To decock it, I push this switch down. It's momentary, it will spring back up to neutral. It fires off the last coil. It does kick on the timer because it sent a signal, but now you can see the throwing arm off to the side so you know that the trap is semi decocked there. At that point then, you could load more clays or move the machine or store it. You wanna leave that arm decocked when you store the machine for, for safety. So that's your long range wobble system with the AT150 wobble trap. You've got your pull cord if you need anything else. To, uh, to end here, we're gonna fire off a bunch of clays here for you. So I'll have a clock it. Thank you for your support and enjoy.